Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about one-step inequalities, and we're going to solve each inequality and graph its solution. So if I was given this inequality, 12n is greater than or equal to 84, okay? Well, I first need to isolate n, right? It was multiplication 12 times n, so now I'm going to divide by 12 to both sides. That leaves me an n by itself on the left, which is what I wanted is greater than or equal to, well, it's 84 divided by 12, and that comes out to be 7, okay? So 7, uh, 84 divided by 12 is 7, because 7 times 12 is 84, and now n is isolated, it's greater than or equal to 7, and we have our final answer. So now I need to graph it, okay? So I take, uh, make a number line here, um, and I'll put 7 right there, why not? And it's go by 1, 8, 9, 10, 11, I have some freedoms here with it, 6, 5, and 4. Okay, so now I need to graph this. Well, since n can equal 7, since it can equal 7, I need a closed circle at 7. Okay, then n is greater than 7, right? Also, I make my arrow to the right, okay? All the values where n is greater than 7, okay? So now I have n is greater than or equal to 7 represented in the graph, and it matches my final answer, which was n is greater than or equal to 7, right? And this graph represents all values that n can be, okay? So let's recap. We're given 12n is greater than or equal to 84. I divided by 12 to both sides to get n by itself, leaving me with n is greater than or equal to 7. Then from there, I needed to graph that. So I put a closed circle at 7 because uh, of the equal to sign, and then the greater than sign made me shade to the right or draw my arrow to the right of that circle. And so this graph represents all values that n can be, right? So Let's test it really quickly. Put 11 in. If I put 11 in for n, is 11 greater than or equal to 7? Yes, true statement. It's where my shading is. But if I put a 4 in for n, 4 right there, is 4 greater than or equal to 7? No, that is not true, and it's not where the shaded region is. And so this graph represents represents uh, the inequality above, which is n is greater than or equal to 7. 